In this video, I wanted to talk to you about a defense that I've been meaning to get to for a long time on our channel, and it just kind of got away from me as the years gone on. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the YouTube channel. Now, at this point in the Madden 22 season, a lot of, a lot of things have really changed uh, with the meta, but basically what we're seeing at this point in the year is that a lot of people obviously are using escape artists still, even with the latest patch. And so I wanted to go ahead and talk about a defense that I think a lot of community members have talked about um, over the course of the season. And really it is this dime two, three, six out of the Baltimore Ravens defense playbook. You can also find this in several playbooks. I think that the two best playbooks for this are the Ravens playbook and the uh, Steelers playbook. The Steelers playbook is really good if you like the 155 double A gap. It also does have the 236 well, of course, which we know that this is probably one of the best blitzing formations in the game. Um, and I just actually just released a little mini ebook on the 236 into our Patreon membership. And this week we're going to be dropping a little bit more uh, in depth analysis on the Dime 236 into the membership as well if you want to get access to that. Um, the reason that I have kind of hesitated to talk about this defense in general is primarily because as a as a general philosophy i don't believe that dime sets are the best way to play this year but the way that this set plays is actually a little bit different than any other dime if you take a look at this it actually looks very similar to the nickel 245 you see there's almost i mean very subtle differences um one of the major differences, though, is that this guy right here can be a corner. So you can actually put um, a cornerback. You could have six corners, essentially, on this, which is what I'm going to do. So we would put a corner here. I'd put a corner here. And then we would put a corner down here. So that gives us six corners on the field. And then we're able to put the best user here. So in Mutt, this is great because you could have 99 speed everywhere all over your field. And then here you could have, you know, your Cam Chancellor, your Taylor Mays guy. And now down here, what you're going to notice is at these two positions, these are considered uh, linebackers. So I could sub in, or defensive ends, I could sub in outside linebackers here. And then here I could put middle linebackers on the field. So based on your roster, obviously, is going to determine whether you should or shouldn't do that. Um, but what I would recommend doing is putting your just your best pass rushers. Whoever your best pass rushers are, get them on your field. Okay, so as you can see here, it's kind of what I'm going with with this defense. Now, the big kicker with this defense, um, a couple things. The first thing with this defense is it's very similar to the nickel normal defense that I personally really enjoy running. So if you wanted to set some of the match audibles, you certainly could. If you wanted to play, uh, you know, cover four palms, cover six, cover nine, uh, some of those coverages, you certainly could. Um, I'm going to show you a defense today. I'm going to kind of piggyback off of a defense that I was talking about earlier today on the channel um, and, and kind of walk you through. So I like to put some of the match concepts in here and then maybe like a cover three match. I think cover three match is a very underrated coverage this year. Uh, and then I actually just have some really good uh, blitzing defenses too. Uh, but anyways, that's your that's your audibles. Um, and like I said, in the, in the Patreon membership, we're gonna be diving a little deeper into this. But what I wanted to talk about primarily is a nice little defense that you can use that just kind of forces your opponent to again have to work um, and it's just the Tampa 2 out of the 236 now the 236 is very similar to the big nickel over G except it has one major advantage that the big nickel doesn't now I would not recommend and I wanted to do a quick disclaimer I would not recommend running this defense if they are in under center I pro or I big what I mean by that is if they're in a set where they can uh, weak box you I wouldn't run this defense, okay? Uh, but if they're not, then you can run this, okay? So what I like to do from a coverage perspective, if you take a look, you're going to notice here that isn't it interesting that this nickel corner is not over here on the left side. So I think that's one thing that's really interesting about it. So you might want to run a man alignment um, so that you can get a better, uh, better deal right there. The second big thing about this set is that if you take a look here, again, please remember this is a corner. So what we want to do... Um, it is it, we also have better adjustments those those cool adjustments we can get um, with the different packages this kind of comes stock with the defense so we can put both of our safeties and outside thirds and create that cover two um, or that uh, that that cover two shell 
And then now what we can do with this guy, because again, he's a corner, so he's got 99 speed, we can put him into a middle third. Ramsey is our nickel here. He can kind of move with the ball just like a nickel set would. And then what I like to do is I like to pinch my defensive line so I get this little double A gap kind of look here to help me stop the run. And then I want to spread my linebackers. Now the real beauty of this is if I spread my linebackers, it makes it significantly harder. If I contain this, it makes it significantly harder for the opponent to roll out of the pocket. Now we're not going to be able to have a vertical hook on both sides, unfortunately, if we do this, but we can drop this guy right here into a bluff blitz in a passing situation. But first and foremost, I want to show you. So like if I run the ball out of this set, um, you should see me be able to kind of shoot the gap just like that. And this is kind of a nickel two, four, five. But what makes this a little bit better than the two, four, five is that you can't put a double team on the outside players uh, in the dime two, three, six. And I think Gut Fox has talked about this some this year. Um, that you can't put the, the double team there. I know that this was something that was popular a little bit earlier in the year when Escape Artist was a little bit bigger of a deal. If you want to have a vert hook over here, you just leave the nickel corner over here. I don't like that. I would rather mantle in this because I want to be able to have this nickel corner be in a situation where he could match this guy. He could he could do some stuff, right? So, you know, again, I would vert hook him if he, if he doesn't, if he's not already in it. And then if you're going to drop this guy in a three wreck, um, you don't have to blitz your user by any means. I don't think I think blitzing your user is not as good for Rundy. I think it's much better if you don't blitz your user this year. But anyway, um, and the bluff blitz, the beauty of the bluff blitz is it counts as a blitzed user. So again, we're gonna go with a little little contain here on the right, and I'm just gonna show you. Um, I'm just gonna show you kind of this rollout. So what you'll see with the rollout here is if I try to roll out. Oftentimes here in, in, in bunch tight end, it's not as easy as it as it as it has been. And I'll show you one more thing with this. So um, again, if I whoops, if I roll out, whoops, with this, and again, you have great coverage. I mean, you have great coverage. Um, you have the vertical hook. You have everything you really need to be honest. Uh, but if I try to, I can't. You see, I can't double team the outside guy. I can only double team these two. I can't get out there. So, you know, I'm going to be in a situation where I'm double teaming here. Now, this is not as clean as a double team. He can get out of the t out of the double team a lot. And if you really want to kind of guarantee that, or not guarantee, but just help your odds a little bit with this, you can still get out of the pocket. And I'm not saying that you can't. Uh, I certainly think you can. Um, but it's a little bit harder. Um, it's definitely a little harder. So if I go here, see that, he, he's able to get me out of the pocket. So very simple containing. Now, um, the other thing that I want to quickly point out about this is a really, really good blitz. And to do that, I'm going to show it out of the bunch. This was something I think Scheman was running earlier this season. I want to say it was Scheman that was that was doing this, or one of the first ones to, not the first one to find the, the blitzing concept, but the first one to use it with this formation. Um, so if, the, if you notice with that cover two, you notice the nickel corner. See how, he's, see how he's over here? To me, that's interesting. So he, it's interesting to me that he lines up weak side a lot. So what you can do is just simply press, blitz this corner, and then you can still do this if you want. But you'll notice that this is a really, really good blitz. And I'll show it here. See how fast this blitz comes? It's a really good bunch defense, too, because they're they're – if you think about it, like we can still run our whole plethora of coverages uh, that we want to. So what I mean by that is we can still run our cover three like this. And then we can just simply blitz the corner. And then if we want to, we can um, this backside uh, linebacker, we can put him in his own. So you see how that works. Now what I can do from a user perspective, because I know the blitz is good, right? If I see the running back run on a wheel, I'll just get out of here. I'll just get out here and you know we're gonna get pretty good pressure okay you're gonna get even better pressure if you just kind of wait for just a second um, so you might want to just hard flat if you hard flat here they can't they can't throw that wheel instantly but this is a simple pressure out of this that is really really good and then the beauty of this like I said is that you now from you see how the contains work from this I think they're really unique uh, from this formation but you go with something like this right and then 
if they run something like that, you're just going to kind of wait for just a second and then get out here and play. And as you can see, this is a really good defense. You create really good pressure from this. Um, if you want the nickel corner on the other side of the field, notice that in bunch, um, you can't really get that. You would have to flip your play, which is not a problem. Um, another thing that I want to quickly point out is there's no reason that you can't, like if you spread your linebackers right, you can bring this guy over here, just like a nickel normal, and it's actually not that hard to stack them. Um, and I'll show it one more time after this after this example. But what you'll see is I can typically stack this guy. Maybe if I can, let me reset the uh, let me reset the linebackers. So basically, you stack this guy here, just like a nickel normal. And now what you can do with this is this creates a really cool little pressure. And you see that we create. Basically what we're doing is we're creating a little bit of a, a dime version of 4-3 even. But the beauty of this is we can put this guy, the adjustments we get. So we can put this guy in any third we want. So let's say, for example, he's basically a safety. So if I wanted to, I can bring him over here and I can send pressure. Okay, and we know that. So I'll show you the pressure real quick and show you that it works. And then I'll talk about the coverage from this. So here's your pressure. You see it's really good. And then this is this is 335 will type of pressure. And if you don't know what 335 will, I talked about 335 will a ton on the channel. It's my probably one of my favorite defenses because the pressure is so good from this formation. But the other thing that we can do with this and it makes it really, really interesting is we can still have that good contain that I was talking about. But now if we wanted to, what we could do is we could bring this guy here and we could put him in a middle third, which allows us to then have our user, whoops, if I can get to him here, have our user, where's he going here? There he is, okay. Have our user right here, okay? And then from an adjustments perspective, we know that we're gonna get really good contain out of this, okay? So we know that our primary responsibility is the wheel route to the running back. If there's not a wheel route, we still need to get out here. But if there's a wheel route, we need to get out here right now to get out there to help with that. But as you can see, you're gonna let Aaron Donald go to work in the middle of the formation, and then you're gonna be lurking over the middle of the field. So to me, this is a great defense. And if you don't want to, if you don't need to contain the other things, like let's say, you know, just situationally, they're not really scrambling out a lot with their quarterback. That makes it a little bit easier for us defensively. So we can middle third this guy, we can vert hook this guy, and then we can, um, and then we can, you know, user this guy right here. So this defense is really, really good. Um, there's a lot that you can do with these linebackers, by the way. You can man them up on certain players. You can put them in zones. There's a lot that there's a lot to like about this, this defense, more so than just the coverage. The coverage is really good. But also, there's pressure to be had out of this, and there's a lot of really cool adjustments you can do. So if they're a pass-heavy team, which most people are this year, this could be a really good defense for you. We're going to talk about it more on the Patreon, so please get the membership. $10 a month. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you want to get the membership, there's a link in the description. We'll see you guys next time.